Hello. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. How are you? I am doing good. How are you? My name is Muskan, and I wholeheartedly welcome you today's session. So I'll be your tutor for today. So how has your day been? The day has been good. Okay. How did you start and, your uh, morning? Pleasantly. Oh, that's good yeah. to hear. No, where are you from? Uh, yeah, definitely. So uh, I am from the city of Joy, Kolkata. Kolkata city joy. Yeah, Kolkata is known as the city of joy. Okay, city of joy. Yeah, okay. Because of the hustle and bustle of the place, because of the people, because of the mm. food that we have over here, the culture is so enriching. That's the reason why. Okay, okay. So, city of so joy, have, Kolkata. Yeah, yeah. So, have you ever I'm been to Kolkata or any other no. state? No, I didn't. I just went to southern part, Tamil Nadu. Okay. Uh, that's it. And uh, I didn't come uh, West Bengal. So I will plan and I come soon. And uh, is there any specific places to visit in Kolkata apart from Kolkata in West Bengal? Definitely. Like uh, in, uh, if, when you uh, come to Kolkata, it's uh, there are several things you can find about. Uh, firstly, um, there is a cemetery. There is an Indian museum and it's enriching because of its culture, because of how Britishers ruled. So there are remnants of that as well. There is sufficient proof of that. There are different uh, uh, roadways that has been named after the British British rulers. So, yeah, and there is market. Uh, there's, uh, there are big malls as well and there are flea market as well. Am I audible to you? Yeah, now you're audible. Please uh, come again. Uh, yeah, and uh, I I know that uh, Howra Bridge and uh, uh, Devi Puja and uh, prayers to the God Devi yes. Puja. Yes, Those Durga are Puja. I heard about, uh, Durga Puja. Yes. And uh, 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 Swami Vivekananda's. Yeah, they all hail from West Bengal uh, itself. That's the reason why. Yes. Yes. Uh, so we have a topic for today. We can discuss about that. But if you have something else in mind, we'll go ahead with that as well. All right. Sure. sure. Yeah. So I would let you know the topic. So the topic for today is uh, things I want my younger self to know. Okay. Would you like to go ahead with it? Yeah, sure. And uh, we'll, uh, you know, we will divide uh... Our session into a few parts and uh, we'll uh, in first part we'll speak about that uh, topic and then we'll do some activities regarding english skills to improve english skills any activity yeah definitely all right no issues okay uh, so so uh, let's go back in time all right let's go back in time when you were a kid i'm starting with an activity only all right uh, so uh, when uh, so we both are traveling we are back in time uh, okay so supposedly uh, you meet a genie and a genie grants you a wish and you are a kid all right so what would you wish for uh when i was a kid yeah now you are a kid as we have traveled back in time all right so what would okay. you wish for uh Suddenly, what would mm. something that you wanted to have while uh, when you were a kid, but if you couldn't, and now you have grown, you are grown up. Actually, in in my childhood, and um, I scared about my teachers, and whenever I go to school, and I just care about school and teachers, and at that time, you no, know, I just you know. Uh, only things about homework and uh, this much homework I need to do like that. I it just uh, 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 focused on that only. I, uh, and uh, if I went back and uh, I don't care uh, about uh, school, going school and uh, about teachers. And that is the one thing. And uh, another thing, uh, uh, I want to go out, say, out to visit uh, uh, places. Like so uh, historical mean, places. Okay, so you would like to go abroad? Uh, sure, uh, not abroad, and we have many places in India, right? 
yes definitely uh, so first of all uh, uh, i need to complete you know i i have to visit uh, total india yeah you so you want to have a tour of india you want yes, to visit yes. then uh, plans are abroad the temples because of its rich culture and heritage is yes temples and historical places monuments museums okay. and i want to know uh, all the cultures of the states and we have different cultures in you know uh, we have different culture in southern part and we have uh, a different culture in northern part so yeah. when we take uh, jammu kashmir punjab and their uh, food style and their uh, living styles uh, and comparing to the southern part and comparing to and uh, uh, these uh, um uh, meghalaya uh, arunachal pradesh assam if you take that and there also their culture is similar to their, their culture is similar to their uh, china's culture you know we have china country right nepal yeah. china so there okay. uh, no uh, i want to visit all the states in our uh, country and uh, i would like to know their cultures and their food style and their living style in that must be there or there so you would want so that's to what, that's what i wish you know no in my childhood i didn't visit any places so i want to visit all places in my childhood itself you know um, if i visit all those and i would know right what is things going there yeah okay so that's impressive you know so um, i've never been to the south but i have heard and i have seen pic- uh, seen pictures of these big temples you know with uh, awesome architecture so yeah uh, uh, did you uh, did you come to telangana did you come to the tamil nadu yeah. no i have never been to the south never okay okay so what about odisha did you been to odisha no and i never i think to odisha. Odisha. no uh, i have i have lived most of my uh, life i more like uh, in west bengal only and then i have been to delhi the capital delhi. city but i haven't been to any other place mm-hmm. so do you have any plans to visit south and part yeah i do have plans after i get placed you know uh, but not as of now definitely not but uh, by the question uh, which i asked you previously about the uh, you know the childhood question the genie one uh, i got to know that uh, you like traveling a lot because by yes. your answer you know i could uh, assume that you like traveling so may i ask if you have itchy feet sorry i didn't get your point uh, i'll just type it in the chat box all right so you could have a better sure. look at it sure so do you have itchy feet by any chance itchy feet Yeah, I see you like traveling. So, do you are do you have itchy feet? Uh, actually, uh, I didn't understand. And what is the exactly meaning of okay, itchy feet? Okay, I let you know. No problem. So, I related the word traveling to itchy feet, which means that people who love to travel have itchy feet. It is an idiom. It's idiom, a way okay. to say. Yeah, it's a it's a way to say to express yourself in a more authentic manner. That you know, I love to travel. My feet uh, are itching. I have itchy feet. okay now i understand okay. huh. so from next time onwards you might uh, uh, say that i have itchy feet or my feet are itching <laughs> to visit uh, other places yes definitely yes yeah, sure okay. i will use that all right so uh, were you a naughty child or a well behaved child uh, uh, in your childhood in my childhood uh, were you naughty in? or uh, were you well behaved yeah i did some naughty things and uh, sometimes well behaved yeah okay. and most do of the times and you know i used to do naughty things in do you have childhood. a story that you would like to share uh sure and uh, when i when i was in school and uh, we have uh, study hours right we had study hours during study hours and uh, our friends go to out for uh, drinking water for toilet and they ask permission from our teacher and they used to go out right and while they are going out and i just used to uh, you know i just use my feet uh, to uh, fall them down did you get my point okay all right so you used to you know 
trouble them yes i used to trouble okay. them all right um okay and one more thing and um, and we group of friends there and uh, in uh, in our school and a few friends are come from uh, uh, other village to my school so they usually uh, bought their lunch box they so they used to bring their lunch boxes uh, yes they used to bring lunch box so we yeah, just take that lunch box to the last bench and we group of friends just uh, have that lunch box we eat and So without their to... permission without their permission who uh, brought lunch box to the school that and in uh, lunch <laughs> at lunch time you know uh, they feel you know very they just they surprised and they feel shocked they get shocked yeah, that was brave so you used to eat the food out of the lunch box yes we group our friends and uh, after that and they don't have uh, lunch to eat right and we just bring them to our uh, house for lunch and we we are in that town only right so we just you know you just come with me and have lunch in my uh, home so <laughs> so i see you have a good friendship too. yes so you are still friends with them yeah we uh, we are in contact and we do calls regularly okay and many okay. things we have many things in uh, yeah uh, many naughty things in my childhood all right so uh, did you enjoy studying as a child no i didn't and uh, uh, i do you know uh, i don't want to read uh, i just you know whenever um, i have exams at that time only i read for exam to pass uh, to pass that exam that's it and uh, i don't want to read daily okay so you did not study so whenever the the exams came closer you used to open your books yes and i'll pass the exams okay so that must be you know scary a uh, kind of uh, scary but i in my childhood i, I didn't have much interest to read okay for so for, for pass for for to qualify academic uh, a uh, year and uh, to go to the next class and whenever exams are near and before the night uh, at that time only uh, i prepare for exam okay all right okay okay so uh, mr navin we uh, we have five uh, words all right so i will be telling you these words and you will try to make sentences is it all right sure sure sure, sure. Okay so the first word is immaturity immaturity yes so are you aware of the meaning yes uh, i am okay. aware of the meaning so i'll go first and then um, you go after me sure okay so my sentence would be that uh, the inability to control his temper is a sign of immaturity Hmm. Okay. Okay. So, what will your sentence be? Mm, maturity. Mm. Uh, in my childhood, I mean, immaturity man manner, and I didn't know the value of studies, and uh, I didn't uh, read well regarding studies. Okay. All right. So that was a good sentence. Okay, so the next word we have is anger. Anger. Yes. So my sentence would be that um, he uh, before meeting a number of uh, a number of protesters started to protest to show their anger. Mm. Sure and. Uh... our freedom fighters so showed their anger on uh, britishers during freedom fight yes definitely that's a great sentence amazing please pat yourself <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you thank you you're clapping you have to pat yourself sure yes do it for thank me because i cannot do that for you <laughs> sure sure <laughs> okay. okay so the next word is stubbornness sorry stubbornness stubborn stubborn, stubborn. 
स्टबन The video has stopped, Mr. Naveen. Okay, so I'll go first. Uh, they are best friends, but they can be stubborn at times. Hmm. Okay. So uh, my sentence would be. Uh, I watched a movie last night, and uh, in that movie, villain uh, be you know uh, stubborn the hero. So uh, earlier he is, he did friendship with the hero, and uh, suddenly uh, uh, due to you know because of money, he just stubborn the hero. Okay, so the villain befriended the hero. Ha. Huh. All right. Yes. Or became friends with the hero. Uh, became uh, friend with the hero, then. Uh, is stubborn the hero and is stubborn the hero or is there any uh, other way to prolong the sentence uh by using stubborn yeah so you can say that uh, the hero uh, was very stubborn in nature okay all right hmm. okay so the next word is hyperactive and my sentence would be yeah uh, you think about yours i'll go first All right. Sure. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Go on. So, uh, sentence would be hyperactive, right? Uh, okay. He has a temper which is very hyperactive. And uh, my sentence would be. Um. Uh, During the mathemat mathematics class, uh, one of my friends uh, uh, they are very hyperactive because they they knew very well maths. So in that class, and uh, they are very hyperactive. Okay, all right, that's a great sentence. The next word is unplanned. Unplanned. Mm, yeah, and yes. your sentence? And my sentence would be, uh, we had to face an increase. Um, we had to. Okay, uh, we faced an unplanned increase in costs. Costs. Okay. okay. And uh, my sentence would be. Uh, uh, that is, uh, COVID is unplanned uh, pandemic, and uh, we and we didn't uh, expect right about COVID, and uh, that is unplanned thing for society. Okay. Okay, Can we use right. this sentence like that, or is this right or wrong? No, uh, it's not completely wrong. But COVID was unplanned, and it shocked each and every one of us. You can go like this. Ah, but uh, but we can use for unplanned for this un um, lockdown. Yes, you can lockdown use unplanned. Is unplanned thing. Yeah, the lockdown yeah. was unplanned. Yes, the lockdown was unplanned. Hmm. Yeah, uh, so you use uh, used a you know practical approach. You took a practical path and used this situation uh, to express yourself freely in order to make a sentence with the word unplanned. Okay, uh, so as I see that we are you know running out of time, the session is already about to end. So uh, I would like to ask if you have any questions. Um. Yeah, you will go with feedback, and we'll go with the okay, feedback. Okay, okay, and... I'll go ahead. I have a few suggestions for you, and uh, that would be that. Uh, firstly, uh, it was a pleasure to have a session with you. You're really interesting and really impressive. You have a bright smile that really lights up, uh, lit up my day. Okay, um, so the feedback would be that you just need to practice more and more. You have a great command over the language in terms of sentence formation, okay, and presentation. So that's great, but you need to be more confident while you speak. So in order to achieve that, you have to look in the mirror and you try uh, to speak up as many times as you can. Just keep speaking to yourself. You do not need uh, your friend or your family for that. Or record yourself and then listen to it. Rectify your mistakes and then start again. So keep uh, doing it again and again until you reach the finish line. All right. Sure. Okay. 
So I'm looking forward to having more sessions with you. I hope I, I could be of some help to you and you learn something today. Uh, yes, I learned and uh, I had a quality session with you and um, we did a good activities uh, by using uh, um, words, uh, new words and you, I just uh, lent a new idiom, uh, play, uh, itchy feet, itchy feet, right? Yes. I lent that new idiom in during your session and I didn't know and, uh, earlier. Okay, and before we end the session, I'll let you know one more idiom, and I'll um, uh, and it, it will go like I wish you a roaring success ahead. I wish, I wish a roaring success ahead. Yes, roaring success, which means roaring I wish success. you a great amount of success. 